Our guest this afternoon is Laura Collings from UPS, which won a e uh, Learning 100 Award for their Global Leadership Development course uh, in the category of performance. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Um, can you tell me a little bit about, uh, about what's going on at UPS in the way of, of uh, leadership and learning, learning development? Yes. As a matter of fact, in the past two years, we've really gone through a major transformation, especially in the U.S.-based um, division. And uh, we took a deep, hard look at what we were providing to our employees, and specifically our management people, to help develop them and develop them into fine leaders, and decided that we really needed to change the way we did business, at least as far as the learning. And we ended up closing all of our corporate schools, which was a traditional classroom-based learning for all of our supervisors and, leaders and management leaders, and um, decided that we needed to do a complete redesign. So that sparked our journey into both blended learning, and part of that is the e-learning. How long ago did you start that, that switch over, and how long, I mean, how long, we, how, how far along are you? Well, we, we shut down our, our traditional corporate schools in January 2009. And um, then we immediately, well, I'd say immediately, in March, we started e-learning with a pilot group of 1,900 people. And they were all supervisors, um, full-time supervisors globally. And to qualify, they had to have been in their job for two years or less and not have attended one of the traditional classroom schools. So that's how we piloted the program for leadership development. Well, the fact that the pilot program was 1,900 people speaks to the size and scope of what you're yes. having, having to implement. Right. Uh, right now, we have approximately 40,000 full-time management people at UPS, and that's across the globe. So in scope, 14, um, 1,900 is a smaller group of them, but we couldn't keep up with the amount of management people that we had in, in the pipeline to get them through the traditional classroom-based setting. So that's why we knew we had to take a close look and change the way we do business. Um, how have you transformed the delivery of the actual learning? Well, like I said, it was traditional classroom-based, and it was a, about two weeks that people had to leave their job, leave their families, and go, go somewhere to sit in a classroom. Did you have to manage change in this process? Oh, yes, very much so. Because everyone was always glad to be selected to attend one of the corporate schools. And the, the big change is when we switched to e-learning, they thought that they were getting less of a development or less of an education within UPS because they weren't given that opportunity to go away and, and, and go to this two-week school. So instead, we, we did the e-learning process. But in the process of it, we learned a lot of what we needed to change, and that, that moved us truly to the blended learning product that we're going to now. And um, in managing the change, you also had to manage expectations. Now, yes. what kind of a feedback are you getting from people that are going through the program now, not being able to, you know, travel like they used well, to? Well, you know, it was, like I said, it, at the beginning we did get a lot of feedback that they really still wanted to go away. Mm -hmm. And it necessarily was not a, a vacation because there was a lot of pre-work involved and a lot of in-classroom work involved. But it, it was always an honor to be chosen for that. And they still wanted to go away. So we've ingrained in that that this is, this is the way things are happening. The world is changing. The way we do a business and the way we do training is changing too. So we're really meeting today's needs, especially with the generations. Everything seems to be changing and going towards more technology versus classroom, although we did find that we do keep part of the classroom back. We brought it back so that there is some redesign involved in it. And so far, it's working very well. Any major surprises? I, I don't know that there's been a lot of surprises, other than it's taken a bit longer than what we anticipated for it to be completely deployed. Mm -hmm. I think we had in our minds that it would, we would be further along in the process within two years than what we are now. How far along would you say? Are you 40%? 70%? Oh, I think we're probably 80%. Oh, okay. And there are new products that are rolling out this year. And we, we kind of had a hiccup last year because we did transform and had a reduction of um, geographic locations in the U.S. last year, which impacted a lot of people. And we did a major change management training, and that took us off plan, but we're now back on plan, ready to go for this year.
Now this is all, you're talking all about, this is all, all about your leadership development, right? Yes. What about, what do you have going on for like the, the line employees? The pe is it totally different? Or? It is completely different and that's much more job specific versus leadership. So we have a, a group of competencies that are both um, a leadership set of nine leadership competencies, and we also have job-specific competencies that roll all across the organization, depending on if you're working part-time, um, moving packages from point A to point B in a warehouse or on a truck, to leading the company at the highest level and the management committee. So the, there's a lot of different tracks that we have and that are available, so they are very different. Um, when I say that a lot of our operations employees, they do get trained um, every year, depending on what level they are, um, what their job requirements are. Lots of it, there's a lot of regulations that we have to follow, um, DOT regulations and so forth. So their, their training is a little bit different versus the leadership track. Winning one of the, the e-learning or the learning, learning 100 awards, that has to make you proud of, you know, what's going on at UPS in the learning mode. What are you most proud of? You know, I'm most proud to be part of this organization, and I, I don't want to sound cheesy, but I, you know, I started loading trucks 22 years ago, mm -hmm. just part time, and um, it's really important that we embrace the policy of promoting from from within. And most of our senior managers and executives started doing the same thing I did, and so they have a sense of what's involved from all levels to make the company a success. And one of the biggest things that, that we embrace every day is we're training our future. So I'm training the person that's going to replace me. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the kind of mindset we have every day when we go to work. And it makes me very proud to be a part of that. Well, congratulations again, Laura. Thank you. Sounds like things are going real well for you. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yes. I'm very happy and uh, I, I can't wait to see where we're going next. Thanks for joining us and good luck in the future. Thank you.